The UK government's plan to deport asylum seekers to Rwanda is an inhuman legal disaster waiting to happen. I know because when Australia did the same thing, I was locked up on an island for six years simply for seeking safety. Treaty Patel's promises of fairness are empty. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison made the same promises. Instead, we were sent to private prisons designed to use racism, torture, and humiliation to drive us away. Many of us never left Norway yet. Infrastructure had collapsed. We routinely went without clean water and electricity. The air in the former phosphate mine we were held in was full of dangerous chemicals. Just like Nauru, Rwanda is a struggling economy thousands of miles from media scrutiny, and the offshore detention plans are veiled in secrecy. Patel is keen to distance herself from the Australian model because it was a cruel, costly nightmare that served one purpose, handing vast amounts of public money to companies profiting from border violence. In Australia, about $2 billion a year was poured into the border and surveillance industry. We can't take away what people suffered in Australia, but here, in the UK, we can and must stop this nightmare before it's too late.